Since Matt, this offense has been sputtering along against the Ole Miss defense here in the fourth quarter. This is the formation he needs to be in. Hard as Samuels over the middle nice. and gets it complete for a first down. And Jordan Matthews did a good job of just holding on as Cody Pruitt came in and made solid contact. And you can see yeah. the effect it has on Matthews. He's feeling it too. No. Now he's going to get put in this. Now he needs to come out of the game. The official. Yeah, he might, he's tapping out the here. official might just call that thing. They're going to keep it on the ground here for a moment and just a gain of one for Wesley Tate. But Matthews. Really took such an impact there. Yeah, he's he's running back down inside, and that's a good clean hit. Really good hit. It's a shoulder pad, but it's still into the chest area, and he's feeling it. That's Cody Pruitt, and that's just that's nice. Oh, and he's vomiting on the field. Yeah, you got to get him after out of that there. hit by Cody Pruitt. Test. That's the first yeah, indicator that you have a concussion. Yeah. Telltale sign. You talk to anybody. On a medical staff, and they'll tell you that's number one on the list. So they will tend to Jordan Matthews, who will be leaving this game with nine catches, 136 yards, and a touchdown. Left the game earlier, was cramped up. Maria Taylor told us they went in, they gave him an IV, put him back in the game. It is just a hot, humid night. And as Jordan Matthews is being tended to by the medical staff. I will say this watch the hit. Hits a fine hit, but then watch his head off the turf. That's probably what you're getting. I'm going to tell you this right now, though. We have come light years, light years. Yeah, he, he wants to come off. He's going to ask to come off, and then he decides to suck it up and go back in. But we have come light years with how we treat concussions. The sidelines, these, these uh, doctors on the sidelines and the trainers are very, very well versed in protocol for concussion and uh, you're going to get the best of care. Okay, now he's out. Kraus has to step up. You have to get the ball to Kraus. Use the tight ends to the middle of the field. That worked early in the game. They haven't gone back to it. So can they do it without their best player? They go to Kraus on a screen, and he is brought down, wrestled down by Cody Pruitt, the guy who knocked Matthews out of the game moments ago. And that clock is ticking down. Two minutes, 44 seconds, just a one-yard gain, only two timeouts for Vanderbilt. And Matthews is coming back into the game, Matt. That surprises the heck out of me. Now, they would have gone through all concussion protocol, and they uh, and the doctors would have said, yeah, you're okay. That's the only way he can get well, back on the field. That seemed pretty quick to pull that off. Yeah. So Matthews here on third and eight. He's lined up one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And he's looking all for him right now. Third and eight, Samuels, can he pull it off? Flag is down as he's taken down that time. It's going to be a hold. Carlos Thompson celebrating. Tess, he eyeballed Matthews the whole way, and the coverage was right there. It was the same route he was going to come back inside at an in route, and they took it away. But this is going to be a hold. And Thompson and Gross were coming in on Carter Samuels, and now Robert Kimdichie, the number one recruit in the country, who's had a stellar night cramping up. 90 plus degrees the past two days. Hot and humid deep into the night here in Nashville in what has been. Holding, holding. Number 53 of the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. It's been one of those back and forth battles that asks so much of these players. Reminder that Sports Center will follow this SEC conference opener. We'll get you squared away on all the NFL preseason action on Clowney's night in his debut in South Carolina's win. And set the table for this weekend ahead in college football's kickoff. They're going to go for it. Fourth down and 18. Now Desperate they measures. No, well, they have no shot. They give the ball up. It's over. Ole Miss calls a timeout here. And as you saw, Hugh Freeze talking things over with the headlinesman there, Gary J. Rowe. 
A reminder that Saturday night it's Dick's Sporting Goods kickoff week continuing first at 530 Eastern. The defending champs as Alabama is looking for history and that quest will begin against Virginia Tech. Then at nine, number 12 LSU, number 20 TCU, Les Miles, Gary Patterson. Great matchup of coaches there. And that's coming up at nine on College Football Primetime presented by Hampton Hotels. So much made of the debut of Robert Mimdici. Well, it's easy to see what they like. Now he's just raw, and he's you know he's still attacking a full man, but he's got a great motor. He can run. Now watch it. There was a there was a touchdown. He ran under him. But here's his punt. You can see the run skills, the athleticism. Uh, the, the future is bright for Robert Kimdichi. I mean, that's you can see why he's the top recruit. You can see all those things. Fourth and 18. See if Vanderbilt can ha cash a lottery ticket here. Keep this thing alive. It's going to take a shot downfield. Oh, Matthews oh. pulled it off. <laughs> can you believe that? <laughs> they had a habit and he gave it to them moments ago he was puking on the field and taken out they're working off Collins they didn't get their hands on him enough they didn't they got to disrupt his route Matthews goes inside just runs right through that thing that's a fantastic play by Matthews you got to get it when you walked up there as a corner you got to disrupt the route he just ran with him and just kind of touched him. Man, you got to jam him. Don't let him run through. 42 yards. There's Jordan Matthews coming back to the line of scrimmage. Their star receiver, who is 178 yards tonight. Now third and four. Play action over the middle and intercepted. Should have been That was catch. Cody Pruitt. As it went off the hands of Jordan Matthews and into the cradle of Cody Pruitt. Jordan Matthews will not be able to sleep tonight because that should have been a reception. Nicely thrown ball by Carter Samuels. It's right where it needs to be, right in the hands. He has that in-breaking route, which they've been doing all night long. It's a zone sitting in front of the safety, and it's right there. Catch the ball. He does it a thousand times. Instead, it goes off end of game to think the guy who this year could become the SEC's all time receiving leader who courageously came back into this game with 10 catches and 178 yards and now letting that emotion go there on the sideline and Ole Miss will avenge last season's last minute loss where do you even begin to describe the final two minutes of this game when Vanderbilt faced a fourth